You know, again, talking, I was, I was talking about how Hungary fell to single-party rule, uh, you know, at the hands of Viktor Orban, using a playbook that, as far as I can tell, is identical to the Republican Party playbook. And, or to the, the, the old billionaire Koch network and you know, all these right-wing groups and all the state policy. And they, they, and they have built, been building this from the bottom up, from the grassroots up, from the states up for the better part of 50 years. This is what, you, what we are watching right now is not something that should have shocked us. I wrote a book about this called We the People back in 2005. Maybe it was even 2004. It's, a, it's an illustrated, kind of comic book. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's out of print now, but, um, but it was about, you know, this whole, this, this campaign to turn America into a single party state along so-called conservative values, basically a white ethno state, uh, using war as, uh, in this case, it was the war in Iraq as one of the things to, to just, you know, trash America. And here they are. And now they're even, they're even using death and destruction. Now, you know, I, I realize I ranted about this at length yesterday, so I won't, I won't go on at too much length. But now we've got in Tennessee, back in uh, 2000, oh, what was the year? Back in 2020, I'm looking for the number, oh well. Oh, here it is, 1987. Back in 1987, the Tennessee Supreme Court said that if a teenager is between the ages of 14 and 18, they may get medical services without a parent's consent. It's called the uh, mature minor doctrine. So this is the law in Tennessee, that if you're over 14 years old, you can get a, you can get a vaccine without having your parents having to, having to sign off on it. So the, the top immunization leader in the state, Dr. Michelle Ficus, uh, uh, sent out a memo saying, you know, maybe we should be encouraging young people to get vaccinated regardless of, you know, without parental permission, because that's legal here in Tennessee. And it was like, you know, the, the, the ceiling fell in on top of her. She got fired. And, and now the, in Tennessee, they're, they're even uh, lay, you know, shutting down their vaccine outreach to children on all diseases, measles and everything, not just the coronavirus. 181 state and local public health leaders across the country, this is in 38 states, have resigned, retired, or been fired since April 1st of last year, since the beginning of the pandemic. And now we have a pandemic that has been turned into a political football by the Republican Party. They're willing to kill grandma. Honest to God, this is, this is what they have come to.